The pacemaker changes the lives of 600,000 people every year, and it was discovered by accident. In 1956, a humble engineer named Wilson Greatbatch was tinkering with an oscilloscope. An oscilloscope captures electrical signals and displays them as waves on a graph. Wilson's was intended to record the beat of a person's heart. His goal? To help people who had fast or irregular heartbeats. It would cause dizziness, fainting, and frequently, even death. But one day, Wilson accidentally installed the wrong resistor in his oscilloscope. Instead of recording, it started emitting an irregular pulse. Wilson realized something. If he could get the machine to produce a regular pulse, it could stimulate a failing heart. All he had to do was connect electrodes from his machine to the heart's muscle tissue. Additionally, the oscillator only used up a teeny tiny amount of battery. If Wilson was able to make his oscillator work and shrink it, he might have a pacemaker implant on his hands. The pacemakers at the time were kept in hospitals, bulky and painful to use. He could change people's lives. If people let him, of course, doctors were wary of implanting something directly on someone's heart. It wasn't until he showed them a practical demonstration on a dog that people finally began to believe. A year later, they conducted the first human test. By 1961, around 100 people were using his pacemaker. Wilson didn't stop there. By the 1970s, he managed to develop a corrosion-free lithium battery. This extended the pacemaker's life from two years to a continuous 10 years. Could you believe that a simple mistake led to this world-changing invention? Thanks to Wilson, millions of people with what used to be a deadly condition can now live normal lives. What do you think? Do you know anyone who lives with a pacemaker? How does it affect their daily lives?